wish to be heard portion of the meeting. And our one citizen is Mr. Burton Fletcher. Please come forward and state your name and address for the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Burton Fletcher, 3533 Cherry Creek Road, Valdosta, Georgia, 31605. I'd like to start my remarks by congratulating our chairman about being appointed to the Board of Community Affairs. I think when any of you get appointed, that's a good thing for all of us. So congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Just want to make a few uh, comments. Uh, uh, during the month of July, uh, we had 61 adoptions out of our shelter, 297 for the year. 177 animals were transferred to rescue. That makes 846 animals for the year. Shelter euthanasia was 85 animals during July. That makes 443 animals uh, for the year. Um, so. I'd like to keep those statistics in, in mind. Uh, I'd like to give a congratulations to our shelter. Recently, they extended their public service hours by four hours. I think it should be more, but that's good. Uh, they're now open until 5 p.m. I congratulate them on that. Also, they now recently had an event with a private organization at Tractor Supply. I understand it wasn't perfect, but it's a step, and I think that's good. So I congratulate them on making that step as well. Uh, I'd like to look at the funding disparities between our shelter and our animal rescue organizations for just a moment. According to the Open Records Act request uh, that I served on the county, uh, the budget for the shelter this year is $1.2 million. That's a lot of money. And it notes to me, none of that is earmarked for the benefit of our animal rescue community. Now, that doesn't make sense to me as a businessman that the animal rescue community is doing the majority of the animal rescue, the animal saving, and they're not getting anything. And you look at what we're spending over a million dollars on the shelter, granted about half of that's for enforcement, uh, the efficiencies are with the animal rescue organization. So why don't we give them some money uh, base it on productivity or however you want to do it. And let's, let's think about that. I'm going to use a dirty word. Privatization of at least some functions of our animal shelter. I know government employees, of which I was one for a long time, we don't like that word privatization. However, there's some Republicans sitting up here, and you like that word. And we ought to think about how we can shift some of our functions from our shelter to the uh, to our private organizations. A couple quick things. Uh, we got a bid in July, uh, June 20th of 2023, 14 months ago, in the amount of $8,244,553 for a new animal shelter. Well, everything's gone up, but that's been 14 months. As a member of the public, I would like to know where we are with the new shelter. Have we abandoned that idea? Is it going to cost us 10 times more? Let us know what's going on there, please. I'd like to know your vision. If you can articulate that, I can't. You're in a position of power. I'm not. But you represent me and all the rest of us good old tax-paying voters out here. Let us know what's going on with the new shelter. After all, it's been more than two years since you broke ground on it. I sent an Open Records Act request asking about market research. Apparently, there wasn't any whatsoever. I'd like to find out who even said, let's keep the new shelter where the current one is. I'd like to know that as well. Somebody somewhere said, hey, this is a good idea to put the same place we've got one now. Uh, I'd like to find out that. You've got to be something somewhere on that particular point. I previously stressed the importance of transparency and collaboration with the public. Open it up to us at some point before the decisions have been made. This five minutes that you give us after the business is over, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a, a real good deal for the public to me. Let us get, get into the uh, communication early on so at least you hear our voice and then you use your judgment in whatever way that you may desire. 
Thank you so much for listening.